reminiscent of a scruffy and bewildered Tom Hanks from the movie Castaway. A 37-year-old real-life castaway has been pulled from a tiny atoll or ring-shaped coral reef in the Marshall Islands. Jose Salvador Avarenga was found last week on Ibon Atoll, just a short 22-hour boat ride from the Marshall Islands capital of Majuro. Alvarenga was found with a badly damaged 26-foot fiberglass boat with a plethora of barnacles attached to its hull and turtle remains strewn about the deck. According to Alvarenga, he had been adrift on the Pacific Island for 13 months since December 21, 2012, after he and a teenage cohort, Ezekiel, had set off for an estimated one-day trip to nab some sharks. They had shoved off from a small port near Tapachula, Mexico, close to the Guatemalan border. A combination of strong winds and a storm rendered their engines useless and blew them off course. Alvarenga says Ezekiel ended up dying four months into the ordeal because the boy would not eat raw birds. His death pushed Alvarenga close to the edge of suicide, but the castaway said he ultimately could not do it. Alvarenga says he survived at sea on a steady diet of fish, turtles, birds, some hand-caught sharks, rainwater, and occasionally his own urine. A knife, his wits, and determination were apparently all he needed to endure. When he spotted the tiny atoll, he screamed in delight and managed to get ashore, where he promptly, quote, had a mountain of sleep, according to Alvarenga. Needless to say, his disheveled and nearly naked self was quite a sight for the two women who found him. His estimated 5,500-mile unwanted journey has ended in a cozy hospital bed while he recovers from the unimaginable experience. Despite the lengthy journey, Alvarenga is physically healthy, although he did complain about stiff and painful joints, and mentally lucid. Alvarenga was born in El Salvador, but had lived in Mexico for 15 years and has a 10-year-old daughter in El Salvador.